Dr. Basu, because you have become a real critic of the Modi government on the economy, and I'm going to refer to two recent tweets to set this off. You tweeted recently, new growth data for 2021 shows India growth minus 7.3% is now 142 among 194 nations, a shocking drop in rank for a nation once among, among the fastest growers. For those who say this happened to all nations because of COVID, my advice is reread your school notes on the meaning of rank. You seem to believe, therefore, Dr. Basu, that this is not so much about the COVID pandemic that has resulted in India's poor economic performance, but you seem to suggest that the Modi government has failed and that reflects in our rank falling. Am I correct? Yeah, Razdeep, um, see, the drop in rank is a just pure number, uh, completely confirmed. So, and that is not a political matter, really. India has dropped rank dramatically. Uh, but there are two things which we have to keep in mind about the current economic uh, situation. One is the short run, which is what I was referring to in the tweet that you mentioned, the sharp drop in rank from among the world's three, four fastest growing economies to now, mm -hmm. somewhere between the 140th to 106, 170th. You know, countries make small adjustments, mm -hmm. but in any case, it's a dramatic drop. That's the short run. The short run is worrying, but at one level, you can say that because of the pandemic, and this is such a novel situation, governments the world over have handled it in different ways. Some have paid off. Mm -hmm. Vietnam has come out really on top. Bangladesh has done very well. There are other countries, Thailand, Indonesia, beginning to hobble back. India was caught unlucky, unlucky mm -hmm. in terms of policy choices. So you can't shrug off the blame, but it's a novel situation. Mm -hmm. But my actually the bigger worry and not captured in this tweet is something that can be saved is India's long run. The current situation is very difficult. It's a sudden situation. But the long run, mm -hmm. there are dangers. India is no longer being talked about in the language in which India used to be described some 10 years ago. It's the sort of Asian tiger, the new Asian tiger coming on the block. That's no longer the language. All over the world, there is a sort of downsizing of expectations from India. Mm -hmm. But here, I feel very conflicted because I am among a minority that feels that mm -hmm. India's fundamental strengths, and I'll go into that if you want later, yes. are there. So it's just a question of the government pulling in all players and paying attention to the long run and putting India back on track where it was. And for that, let me just put in one particular political economy point, which is worth keeping in mind. You know, politics, and mm -hmm. this is not the government and the opposition, this is true of all. Politics thrives on divisiveness. Mm -hmm. People like to divide because then it's easier to manage. Whereas the economy thrives on trust and cooperation. And at one point, you have to say, that politics has to take second place. The economy is important. We have to work together. Across groups, we have to work together. And given India's fundamental strengths, India can do it. Yes, it's been a very bad one and a half years, two years, but we can clamber out of here. What you